everyone. Welcome to SAG Medicare. My name is Richard and in today's session we will be discussing about Contact CMS 5100 Repara Patient Monitor. So without any further delay, let's move on to unboxing and see this device specification and how it's sold. This is our device. Along with the device we get an NAD picker, an NAD tube, a temperature sensor, a power cord, an SPO2 sensor and a an user manual. This is our device contact 5100. As you can see in bottom you can find power on off button along with the battery indicator and AC indicator and this is a uh, navigation buttons and this you can find here main button, silence, freeze button, NAPP button and menu buttons. And at the back side you can see we have our power port AC input and here is our USB port and this is our earthing ports and this is for speaker port. On that side you can find we have our SPO2 port, temperature port and NABP port and temperature to temperature on 2 port. Now we can make connections to the device like first we can insert our SPO2 probe like this second we can insert our temperature probe you can see the color coding so you can easily identify at last we can insert our NABP check the connections are properly made once the connections are made you can just turn on the device to power on the device just press this power button Now you can see the device is power on. In this you can find the battery indicator and settings, NABP, SPO2, temperature and trend graph. You can access uh, the settings by pressing menu button. After pressing you can see there is a box appeared around menu uh, settings button. You can just click OK and you can just enter. To move up and down you can just use these two buttons as the arrow mark mentioned. Now we can, we can enter a setup. In setup you can adjust your time, new patient, patient type, or you can change the default and LED, you can just adjust the brightness of the LED and you can turn on and off the key volume. To exit, just click OK button. And same, you can change alarm, maintenance, demo and you can exit. And we can move on to NABP. In NABP, you can set up NABP unit interval or we, or we can reset and exit and NABP alarm we can change like a system alarm high low diastolic alarm high and low and we can see the NABP table or trend graph in here and you can enter SPO2 in SPO2 we can same we can just set up our SPO2 and SPO2 alarm and you can see our SPO2 table and temperature you can in temperature you can change your degree to Celsius and Fahrenheit now you can see if I change to Fahrenheit you can see the green indicator moves on Fahrenheit and we can on and off probe alarm of temperature sensor and you can exit same as temperature alarm and you can view temperature table and last you can see our trend graph for SPO2 trend, NADP trend and temperature trend and you can see here you can start your NADP therapy by pressing this button and you can freeze and you can silence the alarm and you can once to return if you are in menu on to return to you need just to press main menu it will normal return to normal home screen now you can see here is our alarm indicator and to power off the device just press this button as you can see now our device is power off 
these are the basic settings and connections you should, you should know about contact cms 5100 patient monitor i hope this video was interesting and helpful don't forget to like share and subscribe if you have any doubts please comment below thank you for watching this video